Welcome, everybody. Today is Sunday, the 22nd of September, 2022. My name is Comfort Confo, and I'm talking to you from the United Kingdom. Uh, this is the Heroes webinar. We meet here every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, however you want to put it. And we discuss a very exciting, life-changing opportunity, which is more of a family a movement, a humanitarian movement, and of course, most especially a business that is changing lives. Today, we just want to uh, listen to our dear friends in the house. Uh, last Wednesday, OP360, our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufare, was out there. We all listened to him. And obviously, he dropped a few nuggets. We just want to feast on them. And of course, without any waste of time, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our own Mike Ellis in the house, Gina Lever, Ivy Mix, and of course, Marty Degamo as the great speakers of the day. And I give the mic to you, Mike Ellis. Welcome. Thank you. Just go from anywhere you want to tell us what you have in mind today. Thank you. Well, you you, you want me to jump right in, huh, Comfort? Yes, yes, yes. Go for okay. it. Okay. OK, I, you know, I, I, I've, I've been talking to Marty and Dan for uh, for a couple of weeks and and the uh, the subject that always comes up is is confidence. How do you get it and how do you give it to other people? And obviously, if you listen to Mr. Mufara on the last 360, it should build that confidence immensely because he was very succinct, very to the point, And he, he told us what was coming. But before I get into any of that, I, I really want to talk about the elephant in the room. And, and, and what that is, is I know, and, and, and you all might not agree with this, but it's just, it's just something I know talking to people. 90% uh, of the, uh, the affiliates, those people that are participating with Unpassive, they have that doubt in the back of their mind. You might see them on a webinar, you might see them talking, and, and they're very confident, they believe in on passive, they know where on passive is going, they believe in Mr. Mufara, and then they get off, and in an hour or two, in the back of their mind, they believe what they're saying, but there's that little voice back there. Well, could it really happen to me? And it really is amazing, not only could it happen to them, but is it going to be sustainable? Is it going to be residual? Is it, are, are these things going to happen in my life? And I know those those issues are back there. And I'll, I'll give you a good example how I know that just very, very quickly. Uh, I, I was talking to a group of people the other day, a, a private group. And, uh, you know, we, we were just talking one on one. And, of course, I get a little bit crazy and I started talking about the numbers. And if you. You know anything about on passive, anything about the numbers, anything about the market, you know they can get very, very large. And if we talk one on one, I'll tell you how large they can get. But I started to talk and I could see their eyes just glossing over. And they're not thinking about what I'm, they believe what I'm saying. They're really not thinking about it because in their eyes, that's, it's, it's just impossible for them. And in the back of their mind, they're saying to themselves, gosh, I just hope I can make $500 a month. And over time, it becomes residual. Uh -huh. That's what they're thinking. Maybe it's 500, maybe it's 1,000, maybe it's 1,500, whatever the number is. They're just hoping that that's gonna happen in their lives. And really what I'd like to say to now, say, say today, it's time to up your game. It's time to get those those hopes in the back of your mind and make them a reality. Because if you listen to Ash last, uh, I think it was Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, Ash isn't playing anymore. He's literally telling us what's going to happen. And and everybody comes comes to me and, and they go, well, how do you know? You know, how is this going to work for me? Why do I know that on passive is going to work for me? And it really is simple. It just boils down to a couple of things. It really, really does. And, and the main one is demand. So you need to know demand. And if, if you look at any business that you've ever been in or you've thought about going in, 
you always think about it in terms of demand. Maybe you don't maybe you don't articulate it that way, but that's what it comes down to. <clears throat> is the products they have, are they in great demand? Will they last? Is there longevity in the company? And when you think about on passive, all you have to do is think about demand. And you can you can start with the company of on passive and and the the affiliate program that they have. Will it be in demand? Pretty simple question. Now, if you haven't listened to me, if you haven't listened to Marty, if you haven't listened to Comfort, if you haven't listened to the tech pros here, if you don't know what kind of demand that's going to be, you need to listen to these individuals because they can tell you, boom, 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 boom. Here's what our passive is going to do. Here's why people are going to come and they're going to stay. Demand. So on passive has that demand as far as the affiliate program goes. But it, it is so much bigger than that. When you start to think about demand in the products, that's really, really important. I can't tell you how many programs or businesses Marty and I have been in where we were ready to rock and roll. And after a month or two, all of a sudden, there's no demand, period. The product sucked. The, the, the business didn't stick around. It, it just it was not there, even though you're ready. So demand is a really, really big thing. And, and when you talk about, again, I, I won't get into the numbers because it freaks people out. But when you think about the demand of the products, superior products, and, and believe me, the products of Unpassive are superior. Get it. Get it in your mind. Get those doubts out of your mind. They are superior at a lower price point. Pretty, really, really simple stuff. Really simple stuff. And then you look at each product. And you look at the market in each product, demand, demand, demand. This is what Unpassive brings to the table. And the demand of the products of Unpassive are going to be something that the world has never seen. Okay? Again, you get that in the back of your mind. All of a sudden, not only do you start to get excited about your own life and what Unpassive is going to do in your life, but that excitement stays with you. And that really is the gold right now. I, I don't want to give a pep talk. I don't want to give a motivational. I, I don't want to do any of those things. Just have the realization of what you have in hand, what on passive is and what they're going to do for you. And from there, you won't have to be motivated. You will have the confidence moving forward that, yeah, you are in the right place. And because of what Mr. Mufaro has done, because of the structure and the vision of Mr. Mufaro, you, you are in the right place at the right time and your life will change. Now, we have people coming at us all the time that are almost there. They're not quite there yet, but they're almost there. And over the next couple of weeks, <clears throat> it's going to be a very exciting time. You will get there, period. And they're always coming at us and they're asking, okay, I have the confidence in on passive. I have the confidence in what they're going to do. I know Mr. Mufar. I trust Mr. Mufar. And by the way, there are people out there that today don't trust Mr. Mufar yet. Okay, that's okay. That's perfectly all right. Uh, and I have some of them around me, and, and they just they just go. I I just don't believe it. I don't believe Mr. Mufar. That's okay, because in in the matter of weeks, they're going to come back to you and go, "Oh, was I wrong?" And yeah, they were. And 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 I won't I won't I won't get down on them too much. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. I lost my train of thought. That's okay. But as we as we think about that. As we think about confidence, people coming to Marty, to, to, to myself, to Dan, other people, what do I do? What do I do? <clears throat> and that's a really, really important question. But again, if you understand on passive, you understand what they're doing. And, and Marty said this to me uh, the other day. He said, you know, 90% of what people need to do online is done by on passive, right? Yeah, I mean... And I can go through the litany of things that Unpassive is going to do for each and every one of us. Again, if you haven't heard that, uh, listen to to one of the videos or or get together with with someone one on one that can go over it with you personally. But it's extraordinary, and and when you start to think about that, okay, ninety nine percent of the business is done by Unpassive, i.e., they're going to force you to be successful. So the other ten percent is you. What do you do? I can tell you a lot of things that I would like you to do, but you won't do them, period. Um, some of them take a great deal of time. Some of them, 
they just go over your head. You just don't even think about them. So what can you do? Number one, engage. You need to stay engaged. You need to listen to webinars like this. But here's what's coming. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what you do because when 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 the when the success starts to come your way and you have a testimonial, we all love to give good news. Everybody will do that, even if it, if it's just to your to your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your niece, some friend. You're you're going to tell them about your success. They're not going to believe you right away. That's okay. But they're going to look at you. They're going to watch you as time goes by. And as on passive does what they do, as you do what you're supposed to do, all of a sudden people are looking at you a little differently. You're a little taller. You're a little more handsome. You're a little prettier. You're articulate in ways they never thought you could be. They thought you were an idiot. That's another thing they start thinking about. He or she, they're pretty smart. They really are. And eventually they're going to come back and they're going to go, what are you doing? And you give them the, you give them your, your, your quick, short little testimonial, which is 10 times better than when you told them the first time, because on passive never stops moving. It's always moving forward. And because of that, they're going to come back and they're going to go, can they do it for me? Boom, game over, really game over. And I, I really want you to visualize this. Keep it in the back of your mind, not only how people are going to treat you, because that is going to change. It really is. If you were someone that did ha that had no influence whatsoever, none whatsoever, people did not listen to you, you might be the smartest person on the world. You might have wisdom just, just out of this world. They do not listen to you. They're going to start listening to you. That's a really, really fun time, by the way. It really is, because now you can start to guide them. But what I want you to visualize, right now, we are we, we have open waters in front of us. We can't see where these waters end. We can sail, and it's just perfect sailing weather. The wind's coming out of the northeast right where it should be to catch our sails and keep us in the right direction. And you're going to be able to sail for as long as you want to. And it's just going to be absolutely marvelous. And as you start out, maybe you're not a maybe you're not someone that's that's familiar with the water or the winds or sailing. Well, you got Mr. Mufar on the rudder. He's guiding everything. What a wonderful thing to have in a business that's a multi-billion dollar business. You don't have to manage that. You've got Mr. Mufar to do that. And it's a really, really funny thing as you envision yourself just, just going down that, that path, that sailing to, to, to infinity, places you've never been before, wonderful, beautiful places you've never been before. Understand that in this journey, as this starts to happen for all of us, all of a sudden, you're going to become a pretty good sailor. You're actually going to start to understand how everything works, how you, how you steer the boat, Taking taking to you places you want to go, and that's the visual visual visualization I want you to have in the back of your mind. And when you start to think about I'm passive, and we get you very very excited here. And and believe me, when Marty comes on, he's going to blow your mind. Well, I, I won't put that I won't put that burden on Marty. <laughs> he always does a great job. But when you start to think about on passive, whatever you think, it, it it's not. It's it's more. It's more than what you think. And and I want to say something that uh, probably shouldn't say, but it's the truth. OK. You look at the people on the corporate side of Unpassive. OK, not Ash Mufar, but the people that he's brought into Unpassive. These people are the best of the best. They're better than anything you can imagine. If you think of what we did in five, if you think about what we did five or six years ago and what we're doing today, you can't even compare the two. These guys and gals, they're that good. They're really, really good. And I want to say something to them. You all don't have a clue what's coming. That is on passive. That is Ash Mufara. When they don't have a clue where Mr. Mufara is and the years ahead of what they're thinking. 
And that's a really, really exciting place to be. If they take that to heart, they're going to go, that's cool. I want to be where I'm at. I never want to leave on passive because they're always going to be five, six, seven steps ahead of me. And they're going to th be things coming down the track that that keep us excited and, and keep that journey going, sailing to unknown places. And, and why do you want to go someplace you've already been? Who wants to do that? I don't want to go any place I've already been. Take me to those places I've never been before. That has been the journey of Unpass for the last five and a half, six years. It has been a journey of places I have never been to. And sometimes it scared me a little bit. Most of the time it got me excited. And if I wasn't ready for it, I got ready. And if I didn't get ready, uh, Marty and Dan made sure they kicked me in the butt and made sure I was ready. And we did that to each other. So when you think about on passive, when you think about being confident within your business and you have those little thoughts in the back of your mind that maybe maybe you're not as ready as you should be, maybe they're not going to happen for you. Maybe I won't make that $500 a month. And I even hate to say that. That, that, that shouldn't even be an afterthought. That should be absolutely nothing. And I mean that for everybody around the world. I don't care where you live. But I won't say that. We, we, I didn't say that. But keep it to heart. So this is on passive. This is ki kind of where I'm at. Today, we all need to get up to that next level because it's coming really, really quick. It really is. Maybe later I'll talk about what Mr. Bufara said. But everything is geared toward where he is and where he's going. And I'll say, I'll say one thing about what he said last week. And it, it's the most important thing that he said the whole time. He was talking in terms of days, not weeks, not months, not years, days. And if you heard that, you're going, oh, oh, oh yeah, I got days. I can wait days. And it's going to be right in front of us. And, and maybe later I'll talk a little bit about that. But, but that is unpassive. That's where we need to be. Raise that confidence level. Get to the next level. Believe me, that's, that's just the next level. We're going to take you way, 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 way higher than that. Way, way higher than that as the weeks and months unroll. And uh, we're all in a great place. And everybody here, whether you're on the panel or whether you're listening, don't fret. Remember, remember what Marty said, 90% of it's done. The other, the other 10% we'll work on with you. Comfort, Bob, whoever from there, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you. And that's, that's kind of what I've been thinking about the last week or so. Wow. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mike, for coming. And of course, a powerful opening as usual, guys. Uh, I took a lot, but I appreciate the emphasis on confidence. That's all we need to do now. And I like this bit. We've got an open, we've got open waters in front of us and you can swim as wide as far as you want to go. That's big. So I want to acknowledge the presence of our sweet brothers in the house, Red Redfern and Jeffrey Bollock. Thank you, brothers, for joining us. And of course, uh, just... Yes, make yourself comfortable. If you did not listen to Mike from the very beginning, you it's very all right. We are just, it's a free discussion. You want to either piggy bank on Mike's or comment on something or pick on whatever the CEO said on Wednesday. It's all yours, but let's uh, hear from Marty DeGamo if you're ready now, bro. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Everybody hear me okay? That's a good thing. Yeah, um... Yes, I had a few conversations with Mike in the last couple of weeks, and uh, I was looking back at um, what a business needs to be successful, no matter what it is, right? It, they, there's certain key things they have to have. One is you need to have a product that is in high demand. Double check. We have that. If you can make a high a above market value product that is in high demand, you get another check, which means it's probably lower than anybody else. And the technology is bigger and better than anyone else. And then you get a system that wants to share what comes from that. And we know what comes from that revenue it just does but i also think one of the big products tools whatever you want to call it is us and 
I've, I've worked with a lot of people in the last few years. I've worked with people all my life, really. Even in my regular job, I traveled around the world and worked with people. And you hear about mindset. And it sounds MLME. It sounds, but let me try to explain a little bit. And I'll make it as simple as I can because uh, I'm a simple guy. Mindset, remember, is an attitude. And you have control over attitude. Why? Because we have choice. I did this to myself on purpose for years. When I get up, I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking I can accomplish what I what I want to, not what I need to, what I want to. And I'm as good as anyone else. Not better, I'm not saying better, but as good as anyone else. And the big points of, of mindset, which people may not know, first, everything's possible. You gotta have passion. If you don't have passion for what you wanna do, it won't get done or to get done haphazard. That means you're, you really don't have passion for it. It's good to have passion for it. Be accountable. If you're strong about something or you know, know what you're talking about, and with Unpassive, that's fairly simple. Uh, as we communicate with each other, we learn more and more. As we use the products to come, we'll learn more and more. And, and it's good to have that confidence and understand how it works. And this is a big one. You need to have an attitude of gratitude. I watched this special where this kid goes around asking entrepreneurs about, real quick, 10, 11 questions. And one of the big ones was, was gratitude. I didn't expect to hear that, but it was a big one. Well, be thankful. Uh, look at things. If someone did something for you, I don't care what it was. Say thank you. You know, the poster that was made today was by Tim Johnson. There's a lot of people make posters and they make great ones. No one makes them any better than Tim Johnson. I had made one and then I thought, that's not good enough. Why? I suck at it. I don't have a passion to do it, but I know people that do. I knew if I went to Tim, he would rock and roll. And he did. Because you don't want to, you don't, you don't need to know everything. Because if you have passion for what you're doing and you're accountable for what you're doing and you have attitude of gratitude, I am so grateful to Tim that took the time and learned how to do that. Him doing that makes the cover of my book look better, makes the cover of my video look better, makes the cover of the story I might want to say look better. That's phenomenal. And another one that's really important, and I, I know this for a fact, this isn't just in writing or something I've learned, live to give. I'm passive, attracted like a magnet, good-hearted people. If they were explained the business according to Mr. Mufaro, if they were explained to the business that get, get rich quick, the heart didn't always draw them. But if it was explained how Ash Mufara explained it in those first two videos, you're going to draw people like a magnet, not from here, but from here. And I've noticed in my life, this is no, this is another fact. When I was in Russia, they were very poor people there. Poor, like nothing I've ever seen. But they were the most giving people I ever saw. And they had very good hearts. I'm not saying that's not the U.S. and They're everywhere. But because of where I was, I was, you know, in deep, 
deep area in, in a in a really, really small town. They didn't have they they were so far from Moscow, they might as well have been in Japan. Moscow's got money, the government has money, but these people had nothing, but yet they they were rich in their heart and giving. That's another thing that's very valuable to be a proper smile in your heart, smile on your face, entrepreneur. And the other thing, very, very important, the time to do this is now. Right now. I said a couple of days ago, like Mike said, it's in days. And I want to tell you, and, the, and, and, and we're in something that is so unique. And this is also from experience. 15 years leading up to this business, no matter what I learned, and, and I learned probably more than 75% of people that marketed online. But the part I was missing was every statement I just made. I wasn't in a company that had gratitude or even, even talked about it. I was never in a company that talked about, they talked about mindset, but it was more mindset, fake it till you make it. Now I do tell people, walk, act, think, be, in your life today, who you want to be in five years. That's not a lie. That's weightlifting. No bodybuilder would have any muscles if they didn't work at it. We need to work at what goes in our head. In the front of your mind, you have a soldier there. And if you spent 35, 40 years telling the soldier, the only thing that you're, you're to let in there is negativity and crap. And, and always look at the worst in things. Always believe in some bizarre thing. Uh, putting other people down, he'll let that in. To change that soldier takes work. And if you keep forcing issues of positivity, uh, gratitude, uh, helping others, lifting people above yourself, even if it's not natural to you right now, if you have the heart deep inside, you can fire that guy. And he will be replaced with someone that accepts gratitude, accepts giving, accepts caring for mankind. So for one thing, we're all here. Majority of us are here. And it's not by accident. A powerful thing like I'm passive does not happen by accident. It does not. It can't. We're all, we all think pretty much the same. We all have good hearts. We all have whatever. The point I want to get to is ASS has given us 90 some percent of what we need to be able to take king, take care of things that we have in our heart. Man, I wish I could give more. I wish I could help drill a well. I, I wish I could. The wishes are over. You were given the magic wand. It's called ASS Mufar. He gives us the whole package. But what you need to know is in that toolbox, in that thing that he's giving us that puts us at the level where you can give, you have to be right here. You have to get this to believe that that guy, that woman, that person is not better than you. Listen, success is not judged by money. I'll give you a prime example and you can prove me wrong. What names of people and women in history do you remember? Was it because of the amount of their wealth? Guarantee it's not. It's what they did to change humanity, what they did for their fellow man. And I guarantee, and talk, this is talking to my great uncle before he passed away. And he said it, I've heard it in writing, and I know he didn't see the writing. He said, you'll be remembered. And Ashley Farr said it right when I came in. You'll be remembered by what you gave, not by what you made. There's nothing wrong with making. We, that's what we do. If we could trade bananas and apples to get what we want, okay, we would. That's not reality. 
Reality is we need money to get what we need done. We already have the heart. He gave us the tools. We're going to see, and we have no idea. Trust me, he's on fire. He's on fire right this minute. No joke. I'm not kidding. I don't know who's going to tie him down, but Mr. Mufar is off the chart. He's building something to, he wants to surprise his family. And we're his family. But the best we can do in the meantime, and during that, is be a good steward to receive it. And because I'm telling you, when people come back, be be kind. The ones that told you no will change. Be kind. Because that's going to mean a lot too. Be kind. Somebody popped on the screen. Probably because they're not muted. I got it. Can you see me now? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, but it's so important that let's start working this. We all grew up. We're all in our probably, except for Mike, Engineer Mike, I think he's still like 12 years old, but most of us are in our 50s and 60s, 40s, whatever. And, and we went through life, and a lot of times you were told, well, that's not you. You'd be settled where you are. It's as good as it gets. Be happy. You got a good job. You're going to retire. Say, no, bull crap. I'm not happy with that. I'm sorry. I'm not happy with that at all. And as Mufara said, while he was giving to people, how could I magnify what I'm doing? When he was doing business, how can I help others get what, what I got? It's rigged against them. And talking with his wife, he said, oh, I have to build it myself. Now, I'm sure he could smack himself around a little bit after what's going on. But no, that's him. And he went through all the crap. And he never, here's something very important. Never, ever give yourself a way out. I'll try. I'll try means you're going to quit, but not yet. That's what I'll try means. I'll try. Okay, they're going to quit. I'm going to try to stop smoking. That means you're not. I'm going to try to stop drinking. You didn't try to start drinking. You drank. You, you say it and mean it. Mean what you say. And I think if we can work on that together, it takes a team. It takes a team. Let me shut this person. I don't know who it is. Can anybody find this person? No. I muted somebody. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Anyway, can you guys see me now? All right. Yes, Marty. Because yes. I never see me. I see comfort. Oh, comfort. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but uh, I just want to say, let's work together, work on each other. When we're given everything else, we're given the car. We're given a thousand horsepower. We're we're given the track. We can go 300 miles an hour. Why push the car? It just doesn't make sense. Turn the key, learn how to drive the car, learn how to use the tools, buy every tool you can get, because why would you want a store that only has a few? My store will be overflowing virtually with everything that Mr. Mufara offers. And then give it to people that need it. And part of giving is, the biggest part of giving, show them how to fish. Give somebody a affiliate position. And maybe even give, give them a box full of tools, meaning O-Connect, O-Create, whatever you think they would need. Tell them how to buy traffic, targeted AI traffic. Tell them how they can purchase a little bit of that, how they can do it. When they when they have results, it's not quite what they want. You go back and say, well, here's what you want to do. How? You get experience. Because we share and we will be, we're a great team now. In fact, I've never seen a team like this in my entire life. 
but we ain't seen nothing yet. And I want to tell you, there's ten, there's millions and millions of people, tens of millions, that want to be where we are and feel what we feel. They just don't know it yet. That needs to be worked on here. Because if you walk to somebody hunched over and you really don't believe what you have, don't even talk about it because they won't believe you. You will walk different, talk different, be taller, thinner, smoother skin. You're going to smell a little better. That's success. I'm passive success. And when you talk, people will listen. That's all I have right now. Wow. Thank you. Thanks, Marty. We appreciate you uh, guys. You know, um, earlier on, uh, my early started from warning us that we should uh, be ready. Like it's time to up our game. And of course, he mentioned the superior products we have, which are in high demand. And of course, the fact that 90% of what people are doing online is done by unpassive. And so Marty also started by adding on the high demand thing. So I feel like maybe that's something we need to discuss a bit more about it. Let's get this because we've not discussed such yet here that much. So it's choice. You don't have to. If you have something else, just go for it. Baby thing you want to chip into that. We still appreciate it. So let's get a sweet female voice this time around before we go over to the men. Sister Jean, welcome. Thank you so much, Comfort. Thank you, Mike and Marty, um, for for always speaking such amazing things. And I and I hope that what I'm about to say speaks to the confidence that Mike mentioned and the gratitude that Marty mentioned. But I'm going to come from a completely different perspective, which is <clears throat> last night. I, I had a great time. I went to visit a friend. This friend had a new apartment. I wanted to meet the friend's roommate. Uh, this friend had just gotten a new job. I wanted to give this friend a birthday present because I hadn't been able to do it. We had a wonderful visit, talked for two hours. It was just wonderful. And why am I mentioning this? <clears throat> because this friend was Mark Glatfelder. And if you don't know who Mark is, sorry. Two years ago, Mark was sitting on a concrete sidewalk outside a thrift store. And I almost walked right by him. But something in me said, stop and say hello. You know, this person's sitting out here in the cold, surrounded by bags and a backpack. And uh, I listened to that voice where normally I might have just smiled and kept walking, maybe given some money, maybe some water. I stopped and four hours later, I had a friend that is a forever friend. We had so much in common, music, nutrition, all these things. So my point in saying this is that that friendship would never have happened if not for I'm passive. I never would have had the confidence knowing that I'm gonna stop and talk to this person because I have a solution for them. It makes me extremely emotional because my life would have been completely different if I had never met this man. He's a young man. He's in his early 30s. But he I consider him one of my best friends. I can talk to him about anything, and he listens. He has Asperger's, and he's being treated for some, some conditions, but he's sticking to it. He's For the last two years, he's been in and out of being homeless, in and out of facilities, just Every complication, things stolen from him, it has been a real journey. But he never gave up. He always asked about on passive. He always, and, and engineer Mike, you know, he and I worked together to make sure that Mark was a founder. And uh, so he's always asked about it, but he, sometimes he didn't have a phone. He had no way to connect. He has been on meetings. He actually spoke to Ash once and ash was so encouraging to him to go out and get some work so this is my message to ash today is that when mark got into his own apartment he's got a wonderful roommate oh it's just i'm so happy for him he immediately went out and got himself a job and that's really hard for someone with his conditions, really hard to get somebody to have the confidence in you that you'll be able to do the job, that you'll be able to show up on time and do what's needed. And his hours are wonky. I'll, I'll give you that. It's a lot of late night stalking and that kind of thing. 
but he does have some interpersonal um, uh, customer facing things and it's a challenge for him, but he's doing it. And I'm so proud of him. It's a month and a half in, and that is the change that on passive is making in this world. One person at a time, first through me, it gave me the confidence to know that I had something to offer this person through on passive. I made the decision to talk with him. He completely changed my life. And now he is making decisions to better himself, to become self-sufficient. He's responsible for paying his own rent, buying his own groceries, getting to the bus on time, all of these things. These are huge for someone like Mark. And that is the kind of effect that On Passive is going to have across the planet with every kind of community, every kind of individual with the, the invisible challenges and the and the visible challenges. And so for me, it's it's like I can't imagine my life without Mark. He's one of my best buddies, you know? And so it's just the blessing of all blessings to know that on passive is doing this. It we never, none of us would have known each other if not for on passive. I, I would not have known Ash. Can you imagine? Can you imagine not having Ash in, in our lives? So for, for me, that and that transformation in Mark came before any kind of financial change. No money is going to Mark. No, no, no money is going to me. No, that is not happening yet. The transformation happens in any way. It, it happens because there, this is a movement that's way bigger than business. It's way bigger than any of those things. And as Ash said, that I, I love how he said it, which was, this is, I think, completely and totally based on love. And for me, that's it. That is the most important thing um, because everything branches from that. Every business decision branches from that. Every technical uh, development branches from that. And because that is the case, there is nothing we can't do. There is nothing we can't transform. And it's all going to be for the better, starting with people like Mark. Just uh, he, This is a man, a young man who has amazing visions, not just for people with Asperger's. He has so many, so many ideas, people, so many ideas for homeless shelters, ways that we can improve communities so that people are supported and not cast out because he was banned from many, many uh, shelters. So this has been a really hard journey and his is just one story. So I am just, I, I was chomping at the bit. I was so glad that I, that Collins invited me to speak today because you know, normally I don't want to speak. <laughs> but today I had Mark's story to tell and it's such a good one and it's so amazing. And so many of you have been, have been aware of his journey and it's been, poof, it's been a rough one, <laughs> but he's doing so well. And I just wanted to say thank you, Ash, for developing something that can lift someone like Mark, lift someone like me that has my own, you know, we all have our own things we're going through. And uh, I'm so grateful and I'm so confident that we are on this incredible road together and we're going to make great change. Thank you so much, Comfort. Wow. Thank you, Jean. And I think we appreciate you so much. That's the only reason why we come together, right? Because um, like Ash says, we cannot change the whole world, but then changing one single individual's world goes a long way. I think that we see the ripple effect here because as Ash has changed your life, you are changing somebody's life and in return, it changes your life again because you feel so different now. So I, I, I just want to think what would happen, how far are we going to go when we're finally ready? So I think this movement is here to stay because this change has to take place. Thank you so much, Cis, for coming. And of course, uh, let's move on. Before we move on, we have a sister in the house who is doing a marvelous job. And I pray that we will bear with us because we have uh, people watching all over the world and we have a massive uh, French speaking community uh, in Africa watching us. I would like our sister Francine to just make a brief summary of the key points that have been said so far, as brief as you can, sis. I know that you are good at doing your thing. And before we continue to our brother Jeffrey and, and Red. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sister Comfort. And thanks to each one of us here sharing those nice moments. Um, what I keep from uh, what have been said so far is that, first of all, we are very happy to 
to be here this gathering today and mm -hmm. we we welcome all of you so when michael is to, spoke he said that um ah, oh, Francine. je vais en français pardon oui merci <laughs> pardon <laughs> Bon, aujourd'hui, 22 décembre, nous sommes très contents de vous avoir tous avec nous et euh, comme d'habitude, vous êtes les bienvenus à ce rendez-vous. Nous avons des intervenants spéciaux qui sont venus pour nous ce soir, des intervenants spéciaux qui sont là ce soir et nous leur souhaitons la bienvenue et ils vont nous faire part de ce qu'ils ont dans le cœur. Donc, nous avons Mike Ellis qui a été le premier à prendre la parole. Et il nous a dit ceci, euh, lorsque je, je, je pense à notre PDG, il a de l'assurance. Mike Ellis est venu nous parler ce soir de l'assurance, de la confiance en soi. Et il a dit, euh, bien des gens qu'il a rencontrés ces derniers jours, euh, ils croient, ils croient en, en passive, mais ils il persistent un petit doute, un petit je ne sais quoi de doute. Donc, quand il a, a parlé en, en, en privé, il a abordé les chiffres. Les chiffres, c'est-à-dire ce que nous serions supposés gagner. Il y en a qui croyaient, mais de façon euh, suspecte, pas tout à fait convaincue. Une lueur de doute restait en eux. Et Mike tient à nous rassurer que H. Moufare ne joue pas. H. Moufare ne joue pas avec nous. Il nous dit exactement ce qui va se passer. Mais des doutes subsistent encore. Pensons à ces chiffres en fonction de la demande, la demande sur le marché. On passive à des produits et la demande de ces produits sur le marché est forte. Pour savoir ce que cette demande, est, euh, écoutons les personnes qui peuvent en parler. Il y en a dans la compagnie qui peuvent bien parler des produits d'un passif d'une part et de la demande sur le marché actuel de ces produits. Donc, il a dit que lui, il ne saurait dire euh, dans combien de business Marty et lui, ils ont été, parce qu'il faut dire qu'ils se connaissent depuis des années avant que nous soyons en passif. Donc, ils ont souvent travaillé ensemble. Et... Euh, les produits qu'ils qu ont vendus n'étaient parfois pas demandés et la compagnie disparaissait tout simplement parce que ces produits n'étaient pas euh, demandés. Donc, euh, prenons conscience de ce que On Passive a pour nous en termes de produits. Faisons confiance en nos produits. Euh, prenons confiance aussi en la structure que nous avons dans On Passive et avançons en confiance. Dans mmh. quelques temps, nous serons quelque part. Il y en a encore qui ne croient pas. Donc, croyons, gardons la confiance. Restons engagés. Comment cette confiance se traduit? Michael Ellis nous dit, restons engagés. Parlons de nos succès. Car notre entourage nous remarquera forcément par tout ce qui va se passer et ils viendront vers nous. Ce que nous pouvons leur offrir, c'est nos succès. Donc, euh, vendons, vendons les, euh, euh, et ce sera merveilleux si nous vendons ce que nous avons, jetons-nous à l'eau sans crainte parce que nous appartenons à une compagnie multimillionnaire et visualisons-le dès maintenant. N'attendons pas, visualisons-le et projetons-nous dedans. Si yeah. nous prenons euh, ce que H. Moufaré a amené, ils sont mieux et excellents encore tout de suite. Donc, euh, je vous saute ça. Et Marty Digarmo, oh, lui, il... ça va. I'm, I'm happy with this one Marty... now. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with this one for now. So, I think that's, uh, everybody has an overview of whatever we, we've said so far. So, we'll come again in the next uh, step after the other brothers and sisters have spoken, then we'll give you another chance. Thank you, sis. So this Merci. moment, yeah, I would like to hear from Jeffrey Morlock. Jeffrey, you've been listening. Whether you want to add, you want to subtract, you want to get a new point from what I said or whatever you have to inspire. I think it's a continuation of last week. Just go say what your heart tells you right now. Wow. Um, there's been, man, there's, there's a lot of food for thought here. Uh, each each one of these folks. Mike, when you, when you were talking about numbers, and you're right. You're absolutely right. There's a lot of people that don't, they can't fathom the, the numbers as big as they can get. 
on the downside, you've got folks that can't imagine earning a thousand dollars a month. It's just it's beyond them. Whereas you've got others at a million dollars a month. I, I can do that. No problem. So we just need to keep in mind when we're talking to people, try not to get too caught up on the numbers, get caught up on the success and get caught up on the ideology of what we're trying to do. So thank you, Michael, for, for pointing that out. Marty, I, I loved everything you said and the way you closed up, especially you're basically saying share what you've been given. Make it count not only for you and your family, but for those around you and for those that you run into. And oh, my goodness, Gene, where do I start with you? Holy camoly. You are absolutely spot on. And that, man, you know what? People in the trenches, that's what you're talking about. They have hearts and they have love and they have feelings just like the rest of us. But the big difference between them and me is they're in the trenches and they know the needs that are out there. On passive is giving us, is offering us solutions to use to make the changes for those exact things. Because you know what? Not everybody has experiences like that. I, I, I don't know how to go do some of the things that Mark knows how to do. I don't have contact or I'm not in touch with the, with the people or the institutions that he's in touch with. So that's what makes this thing universal for us. So it's really, my hat is off to you, girl. I mean, <laughs> baby, it was, that was touching and it was powerful and, and, and it, it was relevant. So thank you for that. Um, and, and thank you, Comfort. I appreciate uh, the offer of speaking here. There are two or three things that Mr. Mufara talked about. And I thought, or I think that's what we were getting at is, and I'd like to kind of to talk a little about those if I can, because, you know, he said at some point that he's going to be providing, on passive, will provide to the, to the member base an explanation about what has happened, you know, how we got here, that sort of thing. But that's not the priority right now. The priority now is uh, cut, recovering the business. And he has said 3,000%, I've got confidence we're going to overcome. We're going to be absolutely, absolutely fine. So let's not get caught up on the details. Just just know that we're moving forward. Uh, another thing he said was, you know, right now we're in the best position we've been in for a year. I mean, it has really been a school of hard knocks, right? And this is something that we should be proud of and something we should take to heart because a lesser company would have disappeared flat out. I mean, he, they, they would have just dissipated, right? But we're back at a point now where we've got the right people and the right expertise. And if it turns out later we need more, my guess is he's going to fix that too. Either way, he said, you know, also that we've expanded in some locations, um, multiple countries, but on the same side, some of the departments and, and these things, we've shifted them or maybe they've even downsized, but he's got it. Overall, we're expanding and we're going to be operating more efficiently uh, because of the expansions and the things that he's got going on. Uh, he also talked about uh, getting the OES back online, right? And he said, hey, come on, the more time we have, the less issues we're going to experience once it's up. And I love what he said after that. It was like, we could rush in and we could get this up next week. I mean, we could really rush in and we could do a bang up. Well, I don't know if it'd be a bang up job, but it would be a job. He could bring the OES online in a week. We could see it all. But he also is saying, hey, look, the more time we have, the better off we're going to be, the more perfected the result's going to be. And that's going to work better long term, right? Because he said, hey, I'd love to push that earlier scenario. But you know what? We may end up taking a little more time. Personally, I think it's based on what the techs advise him, saying, you know, if we do it this way, these, we can expect these things. But if we take a few more days, this can expect regardless. It's not just a click and poof, we're back online there. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of things that need to be reintegrated, but regardless, we're coming back. And the last thing I just want to really point out is that Mr. Mufar said, look, when I come online to get in front of you guys, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be genuine, and I'm going to speak from the heart, and I want to take us to a better place. And what he said was basically he's not going to lead us on with a bunch of promises that he knows is never going to manifest. So look at where we are now. Be glad about where we are now in the direction that we're going in now, right? We're in a beautiful place. And when we get rolling, the world's not going to be the same. We're going to change it. Uh, get on board, you know, just love life. Enjoy where we're at on our journey and have a good time with it. Thank you. That's about all I got to say. Sure. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jeffrey, for coming. And of course, let's hear from a brother, right? Welcome, bro. How you doing? 
Good. Thank you. You're looking well, great, though. Yeah, welcome, welcome to uh, sunny Greece. It's been really nice, to be fair. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, we're away uh, on a little vacation at the moment. Uh, but how can I miss, not miss, uh, <laughs> on passive? Uh, uh, as you, as you all know that I've been uh, trying to get in as much as possible uh, throughout the time I'm here. I'm never too far away uh, from on passive. Uh, it is my life. Now, um, listen to uh, Mike, obviously. Mr. Motivator, motivator, he's probably the reason most of us are here in the first place. If it wasn't for Mike doing what he did in the early days, uh, many of us, and I think we all agree on this, wouldn't be here. Uh, you're a fantastic speaker, Mike. You certainly energise us all with your words of wisdom. Uh, you keep me going, that's for sure. Uh, and I certainly believe that you have been an integral part of the wheels and cogs of the on passive journey now this brings me on to what i want to talk about and i've been talking about this for quite a while now about staying the course so why have i been talking about staying the course and i suppose the bottom line and the real reason is i don't want you guys out there to miss out i don't want you to miss what this opportunity is going to do for all of you uh, hi, Francis, whoever you are. It's very nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> this is why I keep harping on about staying the, the course of on passive. Um, has it been an easy journey? No, it hasn't. I mean, we've all had our upside downs. We've all had our problems and doubts uh, amongst all of us. Uh, but I really do believe that for those that have stayed the course, the rewards are going to be amazing. You know, you know, when you uh, look at stuff in life, we've probably all been there. You've seen things and you might have heard of them in the early days. I'm just going to use it as, as an example, by the way, Bitcoin. You know, we all heard of it a long time ago. Did we get involved in it? No, we didn't. Do we regret it? Yeah, maybe we did. But other companies as well, you know, there's all throughout our lives. And as Marty said, most of us here are 40 pluses. So we've seen a lot, haven't we? I really believe that for those that stay the course of on passive, we are going to reap those rewards. And I want every single one of you to reap those rewards. We talk about the uh, family of on passive. We talk about how we want everybody to succeed but it's a bit like winning a lottery ticket isn't it guess how you can win a lottery ticket you have to be in it to win it if you're not in it you can't win it and that's exactly what staying the course is all about yes you have probably bought a founder's position yes you have probably maybe become an affiliate but if you don't stay the course and be engaged with what is going on you're not going to get the golden egg at the end of it it's going to go to somebody else there's going to be somebody knocking on that door and they're going to take it off the shelf before you we all have the same opportunity in on passive and that's what it's all i've always loved about this opportunity it doesn't matter where you are in the world it doesn't matter what you look like where you're from ethnicity pre-color stature, whatever. It doesn't really matter. On passive is a level playing field for absolutely everybody. doesn't matter where you are. We all have that same opportunity, but it's how you use that opportunity that makes the difference. Marty was talking earlier about mindset, about how you have to be, which is a really big integral part. I firmly believe it. If you walk the walk and you talk the talk, guess what's going to happen? Somebody's going to listen. Somebody's going to go, hang on, this guy's got present. This guy has got something about him. And you attract people. You read the books, right? It talks about this all the time. You know, when people, some people walk in a room, they have a presence about them, don't they? Right? We have the on-passive presence, how do I know this? 
because we're engaged, because we know more than somebody else, because we have that confidence that has been instilled to us, that has been bred into us by our CEO, by all of us and all the rest of it. We have the on passive presence. And I can tell you what's going to happen in the future. And we've said it many, many times. You either believe us or you don't, but it is going to be a fact. People are going to ask you, are you still doing that online thing? You know, you know that one you were doing a few, you know that one you're doing a few years ago. Are you still doing that? I heard about it the other day. And are you still doing it? Yes, is the answer. Why? Because then you can come back with all the knowledge that you have of this business. You can even talk in ways that you know that person will understand what on passive can do for them. And that's another thing about on passive. It's not one size fits all, is it? It is very individual to many, many people. You look at the membership of on passive right now. So many people have got involved in on passive for so many different reasons because they know on passive can facilitate the needs of what they want. It's not a blanket for everybody. I know people who have got missionaries or they're looking after orphanages or they're looking after the needy or whatever. They are looking at on passive to be that vehicle so that they can fish themselves. That is what they want. Many individuals, including myself, joined in the early days because of the money. That was why I joined. I'm not, I'm going to hold my hands up. That's why I joined. I'm not going to shy away from that. Has things changed? Yeah, they have, but that's what I joined. And so on passive has so many nooks and crannies for so many different people, but it's going to facilitate the needs for all. And this is why when people come to you, you know what that your person is looking for. Why? Because they're probably going to be your friend before on passive. You know that guy from school. You know that guy from work. You know that guy because you've met them outside the school gates. You know where they live. You know what job they've got. So you can use on passive to facilitate the needs of what that person is actually looking for. Is it they need a website? Is it they need domain, domain names? Is it they want to earn money? Is it whatever it is? I don't know. Is it their business? Whatever. So you'll be able to use all of this. This brings me on to the other part of what I wanted to talk about from staying the course. And that is, why are we staying the course? It's not because we don't believe our CEO. It's not because we don't understand what on passive is doing. It's because we all feel the same. And that is, there's something going on with on passive, isn't there? It's something different. It's not a normal business. It's not what we've kind of used to. But there's something there. You know, when there's something inside you that say, no, Red, this is the one. Stick with this because it will see you right. I'm sure we all feel that. I'm sure we all have got something inside us to say, no, stick with this one because this is the one that is going to prove you right and that is the really the honest truth isn't it we're proving ourselves as much right as everybody else you know the conviction of our belief in this business that's proving ourselves right it's not necessarily metaphorically sticking two fingers up to your friend around the corner who's going you want to get out of that what you're doing it's never going to happen Obviously, that's going to happen because we I'll be around him with a big placard saying, I told you so. But we're doing it for ourselves. That is the number one importance here is we are doing it for ourselves because there is something inside us that's saying this is the one. This is the thing that I'm going to stick with, see it through, because I know it is going to be beneficial for me, my family and everyone else. Obviously, secondary, metaphorically, two fingers are going to go up to a lot of people. So my advice and what I wanted to say is stay the course, believe in your gut, believe in that instinct, 
that you can't really explain to other people about. That gut feeling, if it's telling you this is the right place to be, then it is. That's it from me. Back to you, Comfort. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Red. Guys, go out. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, this is happening. So <laughs> thank you, Red. Thanks. That was just another brilliant delivery as usual, guys. There's no need for me to go back over it because I can't say it the way Red would. I think uh, whoever heard it, you heard him well. Stay the course. Voila, the more So, Sister Francine, uh, we, we, I want to go, before we, we go back here, I want you to bring this, our great lady in the house. So if you are already so feel so warm, Red, you need to get a fan on because somebody's coming to just get you fired up like crazy. None else but our own Ivy Mix, all the way from the United States of America. <laughs> Welcome, sis. <laughs> Today I'm frozen. Today I'm in Colorado. Colorado is frozen. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could just listen and lay down, you know, hearing such great speakers, but um I just love Ash. He came loaded on Wednesday. He came so loaded. And in the second part, when he asked permission to say something, what did he say? He said he will take he let us know he will take care of us. That's all I needed. There are times we are too complicated listening to too many things. If your husband is sitting in front of you, just going around the room and he comes and he just touches your cheek and says, you're the best thing in my life. That's all you need. You don't need any more words. So that's what we're doing with that. She doesn't have to talk too much. We know his heart and we are following his heart. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm a numbers the reason why I say I'm a numbers lady, from time to time, we have to hear those figures. Because then you tell yourself, why do I stay in it anyway? If it's only $200. And then also it gives you the chance to prepare to be greater, to expand your mind. Before, $1,000 was so much for me. Then... It got bigger and then it became smaller. And then it's like you're looking for a bigger opportunity. So it's always good to stretch the mind. And um, Marty touched on something. He had gone to Russia and he saw poverty. I come from poverty. By the grace of God, now I'm shining. I'm looking shiny. But we come from a place where most of us know how to walk many miles. We come from a place where some of us have been to the river to fetch water. Like um, uh, 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 um, um, uh, Jean was giving the example of this guy. He knows what poverty is. I do. I never forget all the things I mean on passive because I know where I came from and I know how I can deliver more people. So we go back to the word confidence. I like it so much like Comfort said, it is becoming our turn. Ash has done his part. 90%, what more can we ask of him? He's done all that he has to do. Now it is our turn. Our turn to do what we have to do. Now, um, he has the confidence. You know why he has confidence? Because he has clarity. He knows what he's doing. He knows who he's doing it with. He knows um, um, all that he wants. He knows everything to the T and he's got the expertise. So if I come and say I have confidence because my horoscope says I'm going to be the CEO of Microsoft, what clarity do I have? Nothing. I can say it all I want in front of the mirror. So now, how are we going to build our confidence? We are going to build our confidence by getting ourselves ready. That 10% has to meet his 90%. We can't go empty. We have to meet him at where he has built us up. So coming to these meetings, it's not just coming to talk and listen, it's to build ourselves up. I've, I've heard so many things today and it's going to build me up. 
when uh, uh, the great master was going, he said he's going to prepare a place for us. What has happened to Christians around the world? We are waiting on that one promise. Who says Ash cannot say what he's going to do? He has every right to. Jesus told us he's going to come back. We've built churches. We didn't fold our hands. We are waiting for him and working with the 10% that we have. With the 10% that we have, we've, uh, we've had Mother Teresa. We've had great, great, great missionaries. So our 10% for Ash, what are we going to do with it? How are we going to meet him? Like he said, he's given us the freedom to be who we want to be in the world. Who do you want to be? Have you sat down to ask yourself, who can I be? Who am I going to be? What am I going to do? Forget about the car. The car would, after all, you're not walking. Forget about the house. By the grace of God, you are in a home. How are you going to spend your life when you don't have to think about money or you don't have to think about work anymore? If you don't put yourself in a place, because I believe and I say it with confidence, there's coming a time in the world that there will be nobody hungry. That is where Ash is taking us to. What part are you going to play in it? There's coming a time in the world that there'll be nobody educated. There was a time in my country, we had to pay to go to school. Then it got to a time. They promised that there'll be free education. Right now there's free education. There's going to be a freedom that has to come with a responsibility. There was a girl who became a model. And the modeling agency, after some time, they said she had to do some work on her chest. Then later on, they said her face. Then later on, her ears. Then it got to a point, they said she had to reduce her ribs. Now, she obliged. And then after she took her ribs out, she became infected. And then she lost her life. Now, why am I saying this? Who is your standard? Somebody is setting a standard for that girl. Somebody said the standard that you cannot look good until you have two ribs less. Our standard is Ash. I look to him so much. I'm telling you, it's so amazing. I look to him. I look at what he says. I look at his face. I look at his eyes. I believe in him so much. Just like your child is standing in front of you and you're talking to a three-year-old. Do you see how they believe in you? That's how I believe in Ash. That's how I believe in him. Is our standard. What are you going to do to match up to his standard? Who are you looking to? Who are you comparing yourself to? I compare myself to him, not in a, in a, in a disrespectful way. I said, my master is working, so I need you to do some work. I said, um, Ash is doing his own, so what can I do? I said, okay, I'll make friends. Do you know? I made friends in different groups. Do you know why? I told myself, like uh, 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 Mike Ellie said, it could be days. I'm telling you, I'm ready. I made friends with a, a, a female group. They are 400. They are going to North Carolina. I'm going with them. I don't know what they are doing. I'll be going with them. We'll be talking on the Zoom. I'm going with them. There's another group meeting in Orlando. It's 2,500. I, I, I gathered my ticket. I'm going with them. Let me tell you something. I've expanded my network. What are you doing? Are you talking to the person next to you? Are you talking to the person like Jean did? Or are you just waiting when the money comes first? No. Expand your circle. It's making me friendlier. It's making you more attractive. Do you know? Before you know when you're going, everybody wants to be like you. Everybody wants to talk to you. What are you doing? to meet that 10%. You can do it, just don't fold your hands. Just get excited. The excitement should be now, I'm so excited. I'm excited that it looks like I'm walking on this on this billions that uh, uh, Mike is talking about. I'm telling you, I feel that way. I say that to myself. I lay in my bed and I say, and we all have to learn these practices. I had to learn it. I had to learn to be successful. I had to learn to be rich. Like I told you, I'm coming from a very, very poor place. I'm not joking. I'm coming from a place where, you know, people don't have lights, people don't have clothes, people don't have money, people don't have nothing. So the poverty and the want has been in your subconscious. So even though you're working and you're making a thousand dollars a month and feeling good, how does the lottery man lose his money? 
is because it's in the subconscious. It's already in there. So right now, rewrite your language. Come to places like this. Talk to people who make you feel better. Talk to people who let you. When Ash comes and says, I'm 3,000% confident, do you know what it did to me? I said, look at confidence. Look at confidence with clarity. That together, he knows where he's going. He knows what he's doing with it. He says he's got... um. Multiple countries. I was excited about that too. I said there's Walmart in every state. So if we have multiple, it makes my life better. Is it? You should say it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So, um, why should we also be limited when we have a visionary that is limitless? Taking us to those places. Isn't it fun? It's fun. Our lives are good, brothers and sisters. I get excited. I get happy. And it's true. Anybody who knows me knows that I talk what I am. I talk who I am. I talk what I feel. I talk what I know. I talk what I'm pulling in. We are pulling this thing in. We are wow. going with Ash and we love him. And um, he said one last thing I'll add. Ash said, he says that we are, we are doing things for long term. He said, we are going to be talked long after we are gone. Then I remember the pyramids of Egypt. The pyramids of Egypt is a mystery. Even though we have facts that, oh, they know, they know. Nobody knows. We will be a mystery. We'll be talked about. The pyramids of, 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 of Giza, they are standing tall. Nobody knows how it was built. Only a few people know. We will be dead and gone. But let me tell you, they'll be wondering how did this on passive come about? We know that our CEO with tears, we know his wife with maybe a, a cooking a, a, a strategies. We know Madi and all of us have been standing and building this pyramid. In wow. time to come, it will be standing. We are still standing forever. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I love this thing. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sis. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, who is your model? Who is setting your standards? I think I go with e, with, with Ivy. Mine is Mr. Ash Mufare. So thank you, sis. So, uh, guys, we, I want to give my sister Francine another two minutes max to highlight a few important points for the benefit of our French-speaking community. And then I'll give the mic to Mike again. To, because, Mike, I know you wanted to make a comment on one of the things that Ash said. So you will not leave here without doing that. So, Francine, please. Merci, merci, uh, Comfort. Uh, si je reviens sur ce que Marty Digarmo a dit, Marty Digarmo veut surtout que nous nous souvenions qu'il faut être reconnaissant et uh, avoir un esprit de redevabilité, avoir confiance en soi, une attitude de gratitude. Si nous avons ça, nous allons déplacer des montagnes. Faisons attention à ce que nous pensons dans notre tête, parce que c'est ce que nous pensons qu'on recrache. Donc ça, c'est en résumé ce que Marty Digarmo a dit. Euh, ensuite, Jeanne nous a rapporté une situation d'un sans-abri, qu'elle pense que c'est vraiment ça l'esprit de on passive parce que le sans abri maintenant a une situation digne et c'est ce que on passive attend de nous. Euh, Jeffrey Morlock, lui, il a il a dit que des personnes pour beaucoup de personnes en parlant des chiffres de ce que nous pouvons percevoir de on passive peuvent être effarés parce que ces chiffres sont grands. Pour certains, 1000 dollars c'est déjà énorme. Donc, euh, il nous recommande que euh, H, quand il est intervenu, il nous a fait des promesses, et des promesses qui vont se réaliser parce qu'il avait justement la confiance en lui et qu'il n'hésitait pas. Il a l'esprit positif qui le projette. Red est revenu sur beaucoup de choses qui ont été euh, déjà dites euh, ce soir et euh, il a parlé de la confiance. Et il nous dit de nous poser la question toujours, pourquoi sommes-nous dans la course Pourquoi nous nous sommes engagés dans la course avec On Passive C'est important de revenir souvent à cette question et euh, d'apprendre aux personnes à pêcher au lieu de leur donner du poisson. Ivy, euh, elle est passionnée, donc euh, sa passion se, se traduit par... Euh, 
euh, comment, comment elle exprime ça, l'assurance que nous avons à travers H, qui nous voulons être exactement, comment nous fixons nos standards, quel est mon standard aujourd'hui dans On Passive et comment je fais pour réaliser ce standard-là. Pour elle, le choix est simple. H. Moufaré a fixé les standards et elle élargit son cercle d'amis. Elle a été très positive dans la voie à suivre et elle a dit qu'aujourd'hui, elle élargit son cercle de connaissances parce que c'est ce cercle qui va remarquer d'abord qui elle est devenue. Et euh, voilà. Donc, fixer des standards. H. Moufaré a déjà fait 90%. Il nous reste de réaliser 10%. Comment nous réalisons ce Merci. Wow, brilliant. Thank you, sis. Excellent. Thank you. Much appreciated. So, Mike, we're coming back to you. What this Mr. Mufari said on Wednesday. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I love to listen to Francine. I, I, I don't even speak French, but she, she makes me want to, want to speak French. She's very, very good. Uh, you, you made a comment earlier, Comfort, and, and you wanted to talk about why our markets are so special the products of Unpassive and why they're, why they're so special. And I think it's really, really important for people to understand why they're so important and what you have in hand and what's going to be doing to you, to you personally. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about just one product and it really is relevant for all the products of Unpassive. But one of the products that uh, Mr. Mufar will be coming out with is our educational product. O Academy is what it's called right now. And if you look at Academy, the first thing you do is look at the market. Okay, how big is the market in 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 the educational arena? It's about eight hundred and fifty billion dollars a year. If you can wrap your mind around that number, eight hundred and fifty billion dollars in revenue comes in annually for that niche, that market. And when you think about that, you think about okay, that's that's one of the products of Unpassive. Do we have the products to take us above a trillion dollars in market cap annually? In other words, that's the amount of revenue we could bring in annually. Obviously, we're not going to get 100% of every, every market that we go into, but we're going to get a big chunk of it. And when you think about it, we have the opportunity to bring in over a trillion dollars because of the markets that we're in and because of the products of Unpassive or Superior to Lower Price Point, Okay. That's a really, really big deal to understand markets. Now, when I say that, that doesn't include the things we don't know yet, okay? And some of the markets that we will be getting into, in my opinion, they're bigger than that, okay? So understand everything that Mr. Mufar does, everything that Unpassive does, it comes through those individuals that are participating with Unpassive. It comes through the affiliates. It comes through you and me. All of it, not some of it, all of it. <clears throat> so that gives you an idea of how big the markets are. Then we get into the individual products. And again, I'll talk about the educational product. The educational product is so unique. And what Mr. Mufar has done is so phenomenal He's taken all the aspects that educators use and he's put it under one umbrella, the umbrella of unpassive. And it doesn't matter what it is, whether whether it's the the uh, the, the webinar platform, the the uh, video conferencing platform, uh, all the things that go into educating individuals, whether it's children or adults, is under one one platform. And because of that, it's very, very attractive for people to come in and use it because a lot of times in education right now, they're using many, many different applications, different apps on different different platforms to get across their, their educational content that they're offering to people. It's a really, really big deal. And if you can take all of that, put it under one umbrella, these individuals can come in and they can do everything from grading, from accounting, from everything that you do to educate and and that's a really really tall order there are people in on passive that can that that are educators that can talk about that better than i can but everything is there everything is there and each little item that's there understand it is perfect it is a it is above market value it has such value to these educators 
and again, at a lower price point. Not only does it do that, but it gives educator, educators a chance to come in and widen their market. Instead of teaching you know, 20, 30 people uh, at a time, they can come in if they're really, really good at what they do. They can have 10,000 pupils come in and these individuals are going to think they are... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know who I'm looking at, but good looking guy. Can you see me, Comfort? Or is yes, it somebody else? Yes, we can see you. Okay. I, I, I had someone else come on, and now I've got Minnow there, and I always love to see Minnow. She's always uh -oh. good. To, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But but what I'm saying is the 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 items that are in the educational system for unpassive, they're superior. They're the best of the best, whatever item it is at a lower price point. And when you start to think about that, all of a sudden, the whole world is our market. People will come in, and, and I know this for a fact. I, I already have people that run major colleges interested in, in the, the uh, O Academy, the Educational Product Hub on Passive, because they understand it's very, very difficult to put all of these items together in one platform. And that's what Mr. Mufara has done. So when we start to think about product, when we start to think about markets, when we start to think how how unique Unpassive is, it's really, un, it's it's important to understand why it's unique and what Mr. Mufara is doing. Uh, so so that's that. Hopefully that, that helps a little bit, Comfort. But I do want to talk about a couple of, just a couple of things. I, I, I don't want to go too long. I know yes. we've got a lot of people that uh, that want to talk. Um, Red Redford had a had a really, really good example. I, I thought it was just excellent. Uh, he brought up Bitcoin. And, and again, when you when you think about Bitcoin and Red brought in, stay the course, stay the course. Well, let's let's go back in time with Bitcoin about eight years, eight, nine years. And, and that's when 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 I got involved with Bitcoin. That's when Marty got involved in Dan. And at that time, Bitcoin was about nine hundred dollars a coin. Okay. Now, over the last six six months, Bitcoin has gotten as high as seventy five thousand dollars a coin, nine hundred to seventy five thousand dollars a coin. If you had stayed the course, bought ten Bitcoin, and stayed the course that eight or nine years, today you'd have seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in the bank. That is staying the course. That is on passive. And, and when Red talks about staying the course, that's what he's talking about, guys. He's talking about your bottom line. He's talking about your wallet. He's talking about what's going to be there over time. And although Unpassive will never guarantee that to everybody, um, in my opinion, it's going to be there. And you don't want to miss out on that. And, and really, I'll, I'll end it with this cover and then turn it back over to you. When we think about where we are, when we think about confidence, when we think about getting rid of those, those little thoughts in the back of your mind, come to the table and ask yourself the question, what do I want to manage? Okay? And it could be $1,000. It could be $50,000. It could be $100,000. It could be $100 million. Okay? And Mr. Mufara, he doesn't put any limitations on you. You get to choose what you want to manage. And once you pick that number, we're going to tell you how to get there. When I think about on passive, there are no limitations. There are no walls. There are no fences to jump over. There, there are no boundaries. It is boundless. You can go wherever you want. It is unlimited. And once you wrap your mind around that, you think about Red's example of Bitcoin, where it's where 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 it went in nine years. Now you think about on passive. It's not going to take nine years, guys. I can guarantee that. And that's me talking. It's not Ashman Far, but I can guarantee that. It is not going to take nine years to get to the place where you want to be. Year, two, three years, whatever it is, it's just not going to take that long. And the really, really cool thing about Unpassive, and wrap your mind around this, please, please, please wrap your mind around this. You get to choose what you want to manage. If it's $1,000 a month, that's perfect. If it's 100 million, if it's 100, I won't say a month, I'll say 100 million a year, 
Although you could say with a passive a month, I won't. I won't say that. Uh, you can think the. You can think in those larger terms, and I know that number just blows people away, for now. But give it about six months to a year, and the numbers that people are going to be talking about, the people that are coming in new and listening to you, are just going to be blown away. But it's going to be rope for you. It's going to be everyday stuff. It's just a uh, hundred grand a month. That's not a big deal. Million a month. That's that's not a big deal. On passive, we'll let you do that. So think about what you want to manage. And some people don't want to manage a million a million a year or a million. A, they they don't want. That's okay. That's okay. Comfort will show you how to do that. She'll tell you how to do that. And then if you want to go there, you can. Yeah. So that that's it. Comfort. Just hopefully that helped on the product side. And then it, 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 Marty says it's all about mindset. What do you want to manage? Whatever that is, it's possible within a passive. Go ahead. Go ahead, Comfort. Exactly. Sure. It does help. Thank you, Mike. Really appreciate that. So there's something I would like us to clarify. I know that our sister, uh, Ivy Mix, she spoke so well and she made the you know, um, a metaphorical reference to the pyramid in Egypt as the physical pyramid. But we want to make a clarification here because pyramid with the online market could meet something else to somebody who doesn't know what we are doing here. <laughs> so, uh, Martin, are you in the mood to do that for us? Clarify what Ivy Mix meant by the pyramid and so that we have nothing to do with pyramid as what people know in business. This is important to this platform, please. Thank you. I want to thank you for much, so much for giving me that opportunity. <laughs> I'm going to explain Ivy Mix. Mix. Okay, listen, here's what I obviously when the when the when the pyramids were built, they had a concept. But if they look at that concept now today and they look at the equipment we have, they say we couldn't do it now. How did they do it then? We may never know, not in our lifetime. But I also think. We're building a pyramid also, a pyramid or a situation that will last hundreds of years. I believe that. And I believe because other people don't believe it doesn't mean it's not happening. I couldn't imagine how many people walked by Noah while he was building the ark on dry land and what kind of stuff he heard. A lot worse than we hear in this business that everybody thinks is a joke. But what do we know right now? We know that Ashmufara is building something like a pyramid. He's building something that will last for generations to come. Doesn't sound feasible. Most people think you're an idiot. Most people think, what are you following this for? But we believe in the concept. And we're starting to see the foundations of this massive pyramid, except it's more like a square, because it's even to the top. But building this thing from the bottom, we've already seen what's happening so far. And, and we believed in our heart that it's possible. And remember, nobody believed that a four-minute mile was possible until a man did it. And then 350-some people did it within 20 years. In fact, even the scientists said it can't happen. When Edison was making the light bulb, Thomas Edison was told, you can't have something that puts out that much energy and that much light and not dissolve into nothing. Like it will consume itself. But he did. Because he believed he could. Now he did that alone because there weren't a lot of people behind him. Most people said he was nuts. And I guarantee after the light came on, all the people around him, close friends that called him names, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. What, what, what we're in the midst of is something we can't compare to anything else. And before we run out and say, look at this wall that we're building, let it start to be built. But in your mind, it goes back to talking to yourself and believing in what you believe in. Listen, 
a journey of life might be a thousand steps and you need to take one step at a time. The beauty of Unpassive is Ash took 990 steps while we were on his shoulders. We might have to walk 10 steps. That's the least we can do. And he didn't build something that's like anything else. That's why when people want to compare, the first thing we all do is when something happens, we compare it to something we've seen. And the worst thing with Unpassive is comparing it to something else. Listen, you can't compare a banana to an orange. No matter what you do, no matter how good your vocabulary is, no matter who you think you are, you can never do it. There's something being built that's never been done. It's, it goes back to people saying, I'm afraid of AI, I'm afraid of the technology. It's going to take all the jobs. Because they're going back to what they saw, and what they believed by past experience. How you go ahead, what a visionary is, which is Mr. Mufara, is believe in the impossible and make the impossible possible. Because the limitation in Ash's head is none. That little officer in front of his head that won't let in any negative, it's a, it's a four-star general. Nobody's getting in. And the more people that tell him no, the stronger he gets. We need to get to that kind of mindset, especially when we know that our battle is being fought by Ash Mufara. We just have to walk up the end and maybe sweep up a couple of nuggets. But other than that, we don't have to do all that heavy lifting or heavy work to get to the point when he builds this thing. And it will be being built probably until we leave this planet. But we're going to see such a, such a big chunk of it and live such a big part of it. That's why I say, enjoy the journey. Because to be able to come back and say, I was there when Ash built on path. you got to be kidding me. You actually saw, yeah, we talked to each No. Yeah. Just like the little boy or the guy that used to clean up the shop for Albert Einstein. I was there when the light bulb went on. You're kidding. You gotta be kidding. Big story. The the story of Unpassive and Ask Mufara isn't done yet. You don't ask somebody like Ash tried to say in 360. People have asked me to talk about me and who I am. Let him write the first novel. Everybody will want to know who he is and what made him who he is. The same goes, what I tried to say from the very beginning, the same goes for each one of you. Right now, I'm just Marty, and I'm okay with that. But the day will come when you go out and people will say, wait a minute, wait a minute. You were in the journey? You were one of the original people? I know some days now it doesn't feel that good, but you've got to think outside your box. You've got to think outside what you limit yourself here. I'm not here today. Physically, I am. But everything I do, everything I talk about, everything with YouTube, every time I'm with Ash, I'm chasing me five years from now. I'm in a big chase to get there. The sad thing is when I get there, I'm going to be five years more. But there's nothing wrong with that because you're, you're, you're advancing forward. Go believe. We have no reason not to believe. I've been in many businesses with Mike Ellis, and I never had 100% what I have now. There was always that little, little circle, sometimes bigger than a, it was a dark spot. And I would try to ignore it. Yeah, but what about this? And what about that? I had that. Every business I was ever in, 50 of them, some bigger than others. But when we got to here, and I thought a business could be make without, made without that dark cloud. And then at the end, I thought, maybe not, until I came in on Placid. And I told Ash this, I told people this, I don't have any clouds. I don't, is there a bad day? Yeah, everybody has a bad day, we're human. 
But do I ever get in and say, oh, it's not going to happen? Not, never, ever, ever, never. And let me tell you what, if you let go of the anxiety, you can work on you. Work on you. We need a lot of work. We all do it. That's who we are. We're humans. We're faulty. We make, we have memory. We we, we tend to remember the worst. Don't, re, don't remember that. It does you no good. Yesterday does me no good. It doesn't, I can't do anything with yesterday. Keep chasing. Keep making yourself better. Keep believing that it's possible. And the main thing is believe you deserve it. Believe you 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 deserve this in life. Do you want to you want me to tell you something to put a little pressure on you? Get your shit together because millions are depending on it. Millions are depending on each and every one of you. You don't know that yet? I'm telling you that's the fact. And you never want to get to that day when you're somewhere and you're the only unpassive guy in the room or in the place. They're going to know it. Act like it. Be ready. When they talk to you, have their eyes go boom and their jaw hit the floor. Why? Because I was in the journey of unpassive with Mr. Ashley Farah, and I went the journey with thousands of other people. That's who I am. And I will. I can help you do the same. Boom. Be there. Because you have the. You want to help your country. You want to help your relatives. You want to help your family. Get your shit right now. Sorry, I'm talking bad. But get your crap together now, right now. He does all the work, guys. All I'm saying. Let's go the extra ten feet. He carried us long enough. When he turns this over to us. I feel that I'm obligated to bless as many people as I can meet. Am I going to bless everybody? No. But if we set hundreds of thousands of you loose and you feel the same way, this world's going to change color. This world's going to breathe a little easier. And then we're, we might have problems, but it won't be trying to get water. And it won't be somebody starving. And it won't be living, somebody living outside if we do the right thing. That doesn't happen by Ash Mufara. Ash Mufara built us a thing we call on passive. It's our obligation to go out and be a mini ass for all of us for years and years to come because that's what will make the difference in the world. That's all I have. Somebody's attending another webinar. Okay. Um, thank you, thank yeah, you. thank you. Thanks so much, Marty. We appreciate you. That was powerful. And guys, before uh, we go ahead, I really need to, <laughs> need to make myself clear here. Everybody sitting here and many other people got our sister Ivy so well. Why I'm going back to this is because there's somebody who is not listening until they got the word pyramid, that's what they are taking and running away with. And they will say, it's just <laughs> one of those things. There was yeah. nothing wrong. I understand my sister. Everybody has understood. That's why we were happy. But I was like, all right, let's go back to it. So thank you, Jean, for the contribution. Thank you, Marty. And of course, uh, I would like to get one of the old tech pros to represent that team today. And it will be none else but my own yeah, they, big brother. They should, they, they, should, they should do something for their money, right? I'm joking. <laughs> He's yes. Just sitting there looking pretty. What the heck? Yes. So I'll get my brother to represent the old tech pro today, and this has to be really powerful. So, bro, brother Bob, we're welcome. Really? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is your brother Bob from Bel Air, Maryland. It's good to see everyone, brother Mari, Mr. Mike. Have you mixed? You brought down the house. Oh, my sister Jean. I, you you had me. My eye was actually teary here. Hey, I just brother, I was just brother Bob. Back up, yep. you big glute. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Love you. Yes, Sister Jean, you you actually uh, moved me emotionally. It's a, it's a great pleasure being here. Just just to 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 uh, to talk a little bit about uh, our sister who brilliantly spoke. Uh, I've been mixed. I've been I've been longing to hear from you. And thank you so much for that brilliant motivational speech. You know why we talk about the. Uh, she talked about this pyramid. It is the mystery of the creation of, of the pyramid. You know, when you go to take a pilgrimage and you go there and you stand and you gaze at this massive structure, you look at it in wonderment. How was it built? 
Those are the things that him, that comes to your mind. So she's liking it to unpass it. You know, in a few years from now, people are going to wonder because remember, the world is going to transform within the next three, four, five years. The world is going to be different from where, where it stands today. And that is thanks to, to unpassive. So people are going to be in wonderment as well. Like, what is going on? What the hell is going on? This unpassive, like Brother Madi said, people are going to look, look at you in amazement when you tell them that you were part of this journey. You know? But uh, Mr. Ash came out also last week and uh, excited us. I mean, most of the the things have been said. I think Sister Ivy Mix also talked about, he told us that he was going to take care of us. And when he said that, I went back three weeks ago, about four, five, six weeks ago, he told us that, I have known you, look at us in our eyes, and he said, I've known most of you, I've known your stories, I've known you the past few years, I'm not going to let you down. He reminded us again last week that he's going to take care of us. The other one thing that I want us to remember I said something very technical that we, those of us in the IT industry, we listened to it and we were like, wow, this is good. When Mr. Ash said, he said something, I, I call it a, a, a super admin. He's going to be given what we call a super admin privilege over the system. So he's going to be able to look at the system, like use an hourglass, every, uh, not the system, the entire organization, actually. He says that he's going to be able to oversee Everything in every corner in real time, all the departments, everything, finance, everywhere, are, 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 everything about on passive, Mr. Ash, they are giving him a special super admin privilege, I, I may call it. So that is very good. That means, Mr. Ash, the control that he's telling us that he has, he has it 110%. And we know what that means to us, to all of us. It is for our own good, it is for the good of the finance because he has us at heart. Amazingly. And then he, of, of course, he gave us that um, reassurance again by telling us that, that he's 3,000% 3, confident that we are, we are, we are right there where, where we are supposed to be. You know, uh, but Sister Jean, uh, Jean Olivia, when you spoke about uh, your dear friend, um, Mark, is it Mark Halfeda? You know, it, br it brought me to something that I've been reading the past uh, past couple of weeks. You know, um, there's a there's a guy, there's a Roman emperor, long 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 time ago. He's called uh, Marcus uh, Aurelius. He's one of the the, the the Stoic philosophers. You know him, wonderful. So when you said that, I remember something that he said. He said that the fruit of this life, the fruit of this life, is good character and acts of common good. That's what Aureli says, uh, uh, Jean. And that fits squarely into what, what you just did when you told us how, you know, you did, what you did for this guy. And that is the hope for, for all of us. One thing is certain, it's going to happen very shortly. Ash Mufara is going to amplify all of us. He's going to amplify our character. Whatever character you have, whoever you are right now, Ash Mufara is going to amplify you if you are good. The whole world is going to know your goodness. If you are bad, you're going to be you're going to be worse. Ash Mufara is going to amplify us. So let's use it for the common good, like our sister Jean has done and is doing. You know, that's just what uh, what came to my mind when when Jean was brilliantly telling us about the story of of our friend Mark. It is something that if you ask our founder, Mister Ash, you say, "Yeah, that is what I want of all of you." So that is just my little take for today. But I think overall. We are in a good place. Like my brother Mike Ellis said, he talked about demand. The product is in demand. The product is superior. The price is less. So every every uh, uh, vendor management manager, every CEO in all companies around the world, they're going to use this product and they're going to, they're going to flock into it because they believe in what we call in economics, economies of scale and cost-benefit analysis. That is what drives uh, uh, decision making in these companies when they when it comes to procurement. So they're going to look at the cost, look at the benefit, they look at what these products are doing, and the demand is good. Those so skyrocket. So uh, uh, is coming in with something that is needed, and we have it, and it's better, you know. So uh, I mean, uh, Brahmadi told us to be to have that attitude, the attitude and the mindset. The attitude and the mindset 
That is what we have to have now. It should not be an occasional act. It should not be today you come, oh man, you feel good, oh man, ashes. It should be a constant attitude. Every day you have that positive spirit, that positive mindset. You know that we are there, we are going there. Today we are 90% close when Mr. Ash comes, he talks. That is a spirit that you have to carry. It should not be today you are one thing, tomorrow you are another. No, it has to be a, 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 a constant attitude. You know, um, Red Red Friend told us, this is it. This is it. What else? When that thing inside you keeps insisting that, despite evidence to the contrary, something better awaits you. This is it. This is it, guys. We are there. We are just waiting for our father, Mr. Ash. I think today he says today he's going to get this today. Today is Sunday, right? Right. He says that he's going to get uh, that link today. Hopefully he gets the OAS and then we don't know what the next few weeks this are all about. But these are some exciting times. And I will just end by saying we are fine. We are fine, guys. Let's just stay focused. Back to your sister comfort. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, uh, guys, I'll give our sister Francine two minutes to do brilliantly do a quick uh, summary. And then I'll, I'll give two last minutes each to our guest speakers, plus Michael or John Tambia and Jeffrey. So we have 12 minutes after Francine and the meeting will be closed. So, sis, you have two minutes, one click. Thank you. Euh, nous sommes revenus sur un point que euh, Ivy a évoqué concernant les pyramides. Donc, pour clarifier la chose, il s'agit de la force contenue dans les pyramides et du secret qu'on ne sait pas comment ces pyramides ont été construites. Donc, c'est vraiment un signe de puissance et un signe de pérennité. Parce que les pyramides sont là, génération après génération, elles sont là. Donc, ce que H. Moufaré ont fait un parallèle et on compare avec On Passive, qui est solidement ancré et qui sera là pour des générations. Donc, c'est de sous cet angle-là que on a parlé de pyramides. Donc, euh, nous avons fait. Il a déjà fait 990. Nous, on doit ajouter les 10 pas additionnel pour bâtir ce, cet empire générationnel qui va nous survivre jusqu'aux générations qui viennent. Donc, euh, nous avons obligation d'apporter notre bénédiction à tous ceux qui sont autour de nous. La, ce que nous avons reçu, le cadeau que nous recevons, nous avons obligation de le transmettre, de le donner aux autres et nous devons devenir des mini h Donc, notre frère Bob nous dit ceci. Il a rappelé ce que H est venu nous dire il y a six semaines à peu près. Et il nous a dit, rassuré qu'il ne nous abandonnera jamais. En plus de ça, H nous a dit, pour eux qui sont des informatiques, dans Otech Pro, nous avons des informaticiens professionnels. Pour eux, cette information était une information capitale. Donc, il s'agit de, des privilèges de contrôle du système qui sont inédits, qui ont été donnés à notre PDG H. Moufaré. C'est une information très capitale et très importante que nous devons garder. H. Moufaré va amplifier nos personnages et euh, nous allons l'utiliser soit pour le bien, soit pour le mal. Donc, nous, on a fait le choix sur cette plateforme aujourd'hui qu'on veut le faire pour le bien. Et nous devons avoir une attitude, un état d'esprit constant. Nous devons rester consistants dans tout ce que nous faisons parce que nous sommes là pour y arriver. Merci beaucoup. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you, sis. So uh, I would like to take a quick last round now. We are actually summing up. Uh, Mike uh, or John Tambia will give you the honor you have less than two minutes to say a quick thing, and so we move over to the next person. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, leaders. Thank you, everybody. Um, happy Sunday to everybody. So I just want to say uh, what our CEO came out this uh, last um, time that he came out. What what really um, struck me was when he was saying that we have the right people. He said we have the expatriate. And he says, we have the right trustworthy individuals. So that is that is still reassuring us that where we left, 
we are going a new direction now. We are not coming back. Okay. Another one he said again, he said, um, once again, um, we are moving forward towards something wonderful together. All these are very assuring to me, and I hold them very high. So that was my take mark for me. I'm 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 just very so excited. Thank you. I know. Thank you, bro. Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, sure. So let's give uh, the mic to our sister Mayan. I think we have a few more ladies to speak. She's one one minute twenty three seconds for you. She's trying to unmute herself. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Sister Comfort. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've heard everything. Oh, my God. It's so sat saturating. I won't tell you a lie. You know, I, I thank everyone. Marty, and you, that was brilliant, what you said. And um, Sister Ivy as well. Oh, my God. You blew the, the entire uh, setup. You know, I'm so grateful to you all. Thank you very much, Red. Thank you, uh, Engineer Mike. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Comfort, particularly. You know, and I want to say just a little bit, you know, that um, it's so good. The main thing here, we've all had everything, and we basically what we need is being ethical. It's so important to be very ethical, you know, to know exactly what we are in for, and to also conduct to sell. Uh, CEO has taught us a great deal of how to be very honest in everything that he does. We have no reason not to be honest. So this is it. That's the little bit I want to chip in and to say that it's so important to be very authentic in everything. Thank you, Sister uh, Comfort. Thank you very much. Okay. You're sure. Thanks. Yeah, that's Thank the you, bit sis. I would say. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming. So, Jean, uh, you are now earlier on. You talked about our brother Mark. In case you have any other comments to make, but I found this important when Ash made us understand that uh, the tech guys have constructed a platform for him where he'll be able to oversee everything without. So, I found it important. I don't know about you all, whether Jean or whoever is coming now, Mike, maybe because you're the last speaker, Mike, you might want to comment on that, Jean, anybody. So Jean, you have the mic now. Whatever you want to say is your last turn. Thanks. Well, thank you, Comfort. I mean, on, on that topic, I mean, really for him to have a, a, an essentially like a platform, a dashboard from which he can see at any given time exactly what's going on, that any kind of strangeness, anything that's out of alignment with his vision, he'll be able to see it right away and solve it right away. And it, it, as much as it's a big burden on him, I think it will give him the peace of mind knowing that it's not happening in darkness. You know, what's happening around the world, he can make sure that it's following the blueprint, the, 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 the vision that he has created. So that's all. I mean, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's really a game changer for us moving forward that he's going to have the reins fully, you know, and we know that he's not a controller. He's someone who empowers people. But in this case, if the, the mission is too important, he needs to be able to ensure that that oversight is there so that he can and, and see who is, who is most in alignment what might be need tweaking and, and all of that. But I did want to mention really quickly is that Ivy said something that really sparked in me, which was when she was talking about how Ash has done the 90%, what, how can we meet on the, on the 10% side? And Marty said, you know, he's carried us this far. We can at least walk 10 feet. Right. But when she said, what part will you play when the world no longer has a problem with poverty, no longer has a problem with water, fresh water. What part will be we be playing? And it really makes you think when when I'm not having to worry about paying my bills, what am I going to be doing with my life? What part am I going to be playing in having a positive impact? And and that's that's our choice. We can stay in the in the sidelines. We can get into a big role. We can do whatever. But now is the time to be thinking about that so that our dreams can then manifest once the ball gets rolling, it's going to start moving very fast. So the more we think about it, what 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 part are we going to play? And then if we have other people that have a similar idea, we can lock arms now, maybe ahead of time. 
but it's really good for us to be thinking now about what part we're going to play once the major things of the world are um, are solved by on passive. Thank you, Comfort. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I also struggle to unmute myself. So thank you, Jean. <laughs> Thanks so much for your contribution. And of course, uh, Sister Ivy, you have another 1.2 minutes to make a quick last remark. Yeah. Or 40 seconds, maybe. Okay. I um, I'm so happy that Ash is um, having that platform. It was something I was happy about. Because if you know somebody is looking you'll be careful. You see what I mean? So for the people he's working with, that freedom, uh, some people don't know how to manage freedom or manage trust. So if you know your boss is looking, it, it would help us. And then I like it more, especially because Ash is taking responsibility for us. He knows that he's responsible for us, you see? So he doesn't want to be in a place where um, 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 he's carrying our interest on his shoulder. Him looking, he's looking out for us because on his own, like Jean said, he's not a control person. He doesn't have to look, but he's looking because of us. Thank you, Ash. And the other day when he came on, I saw that he's timeless. He's ageless. His face is fresher. We love you, Ash. And thank you for all that you do for us. Sure. Thank you. See, I'm, I'm just giggling because you say exactly what my brother Oliver said last week, that uh, Ash is bearing the risk on our behalf. He's taking all the risk and doing all of those things. And so all we wait for is for the crispy part of it, the sweet apples, the juicy ones, because he bears all the burden. Brilliant. I'm happy you came back with it today. So um, um, Francine, do you have another quick thing? This time around will be 40 seconds. Then Mike is the last speaker to say whatever he wants to say, and we go home. Do you like to unmute yourself, please? Maybe we, we there were more, more insistence on the gratitude side. Uh, no, I remember Maggie Bazzi, taking it. Go ahead and just do it. Oh, in, oui. I know. La gratitude, pardon, excusez-moi. La gratitude a été rappelée parce que uh, Marty Digarno a commencé en insistant avec ça. Et uh, Michael John Tombia a repris ça en disant que uh, nous devons... Euh, il est content que H ait toutes les compétences qu'il faut et nous allons de l'avant. Donc, euh, euh, Maëvin a aussi repris la gratitude très profondément parce que c'est l'état d'esprit que nous devons avoir, mais elle a insisté sur l'honnêteté et l'authenticité. Nous devons être honnêtes et nous devons être authentiques, fidèles à ce que On Passive veut vivre comme message. Jeanne est revenue euh, sur, euh, sur le contrôle de la structure. Si quelqu'un est là pour contrôler, si H a eu les privilèges de contrôle et de surveillance du système, ça veut dire que euh, nous sommes en sécurité et qu'il a les rênes de la compagnie. Et par ailleurs, euh, le contrôle de la structure, si nous n'avions plus des soucis financiers demain, le vrai message de On Passive, c'est quoi Qu'est-ce que nous ferons Nous ne serons pas en besoin d'argent, mais comment utiliserons-nous notre temps et notre esprit C'est une question très importante à laquelle nous devons toujours nous référer. Donc, encore une fois, nous sommes très heureux du contrôle que le PDG a sur le système. Cela nous rassure sur la compagnie et cela aura également un impact sur ce qu'on a dit auparavant. Il y a des personnes bien disposées, il y en a qui ne sont pas bien disposées et le fait que le PDG ait le contrôle entre ses mains, il saura comment aviser en temps opportun. Merci. Merci. Thank you so much, yes, yes. Thank you. So, Mike, you have the mic to say the last word. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, thanks, Comfort. Comfort. Uh, we need another two hours. I mean, we're we're just getting started, but I, I know. <laughs> yeah, it, and this webinar, it's absolutely terrific, Comfort. And the people that are listening to this webinar, if you really take things to heart, you can build your base. 
you can build that base that makes you unmovable. You have a belief, you understand what's going on, you understand what's going to go in your life. You build that way, you build that way, that, that base, and, and you become unmovable. You will move forward in a very, very good way. But I, I want to touch on something Marty said earlier. After you've built that base, you start to look forward. You look into the future. What's going to be happening? And, and I can tell you, because I talk to Marty more than anybody, anybody else out there, when Marty and I come on these webinars, we tone down our rhetoric by 25, 50%. We, we really do. Uh, and if if we didn't do that, Ash would probably fire both of us. But but I want to talk about a video that, that I've been thinking about doing, and, and I haven't done it yet. And it is the different scenarios of the structure of Unpassive. What is Unpassive going to look like for your business? It's really, really important stuff. Because once you understand the structure, once, once you understand how it's going to affect your business, and Unpassive is your business, period, guys. It's your business. Once you understand the structure, everything else just, just is behind the scene because now you know how to build your business. Now, I haven't done that yet because it, it really is speculation, guys, on my part, but it's, it's an educated speculation, okay? So I, I kind of know what I'm talking about, but I also know that I'm not sure Mr. Bufara wants us to speculate on the structure of the business of Unpassive. And I have three or four, I have three scenarios I want to go over. I have a fourth that would literally blow your mind. You, it, literally, it would get me fired, but it would blow your mind. But the three the three scenarios that I, that I want to talk about, and, and I'll decide if I'm going to, I'll talk to Marty and I'll decide if I'm going to do that webinar or not. They're all really, really good guys. They give you a way forward to build your business to know that you're going to get to the place where you want to get to, wherever that is, really is, whether it's a thousand dollars, fifty thousand, hundred thousand, whatever it is, whatever. I know what comfort wants, and I can tell comfort you will get there, period. Boom, done deal. So in the next week or so, I'll decide if I'm going to do that video. If I'm going to do it, I'll put it out there for everybody. It's only a six or seven minute video, and I can go over all three scenarios. I won't touch the fourth scenario. Uh, it, it, number one, Marty would come from New Jersey to Colorado and beat me over the head. But those are the things we talk about. Those are the things we think about. Those are the things we tone down that we don't talk to everybody about. But really, really, this is unpassive. It's it's even better than you can think about. I'll end it there, Comfort. We're in a great place. Everybody build that base, get to that unmovable spot, unmovable spot, and then move forward. Comfort, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. I think it's been a long, two fruitful hours. I really appreciate you for all for coming. Thank you, those who are watching us online. Thank you, Jeffrey, for showing up. Red is gone. We appreciate him too, Sister Mayan. And of course, let's keep the fire burning. And of course, we really applaud the, the efforts of our sister, Francine. She's doing a marvelous job of interpreting and getting the message go even further. So that's all what we want. And that's what Unpassive is all about. Thank you, guys. Love you so much. Let's see what the week ahead brings for us. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.